This thing really does it all and does it really well. And that's why this is becoming my favorite plate amplifier. This is the Aurelic Up2 Stream unit that has pretty much everything you would want on it. It has Bluetooth capability, it has Wi-Fi capability, it can do whole house streaming, it has a USB DAC, it has a subwoofer out, and it includes one of the best chips on the market for sound quality. In fact, some of the highest rated amplifiers use these, such as the Lox GA30 and even the SMSL AO200. But not just that, it also includes a DSP board on here for you to do DSP adjustment and it has some other options such as adding fiber optic to it and even remote control that just makes this board really be able to be used for just about anything. And that's why I'm really starting to enjoy this. So whether you want to refurbish some new speakers or whether you want to do a DIY project. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at this Aurelic Plate Amplifier to see just what it can do for you. All right guys, now this is the Aurelic Up2 Stream Plate Amplifier. And what's interesting about this is of course, it's part of the Aurelic family, which allows you to do like a Sonus style whole house audio, which I really love. And this is a way to either make a DIY project or maybe resurrect some of your old speakers that you have that you want to put a plate amplifier on. Now, because it's part of Aurelic's ecosystem, this does connect to Wi-Fi and it connects to uh, Ethernet and that allows you to do uh, wireless streaming throughout your house and you can even connect multiple Aurelic units up inside the house to stream the exact same song to all of your units or even stream a completely different song to each unit. So it's really powerful if you want to do like whole house or multi-room audio. But that's not what makes me so excited about this unit. I mean it's one of the things but it's definitely not the most exciting thing on it. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the inputs first, and then I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the amplifier because I think you're gonna be excited about what chip it's actually using inside here. Now this does have a USB DAC, and there's gonna be a little bit more to that here in a little bit, but you can plug it USB right up to your computer, and I think that's where I see most people using a unit like this, but it does have aux input. It does have a Bluetooth antenna, so you can Bluetooth to this. And then on the back, you're also gonna see a subwoofer out. That's an RCA subwoofer out that allows you to hook up a powered subwoofer to this. You can also see uh, your binding posts here. Now these binding posts will allow you to hook up another speaker. So the way that this is typically used, like you would cut part of it out and you plug it into one speaker and then you would run the speaker wire out to your other speaker and then this would power both speakers. So it will power you know, a stereo pair of speakers does have a volume control on the back and it does have the power supply built in. So you just need a power plug, which is of course included with this unit. Now, one of the things that really excites me about this is when you get something with a package that includes like all of these things, a USB DAC, Bluetooth, you start to think that they don't care as much about sound quality. They're more about just throwing quantity at you. That's where you'd be wrong with this Aurelic unit. This Aurelic unit actually uses one of the highest end chips on it. it uses the new Infineon chip. If you're not familiar with it, this is the exact same chip that you're gonna find on the amplifier I recently reviewed, the SMSL AO200. And it also is the chip used in the uh, infamous Lakshi A30. So this is a very good amplifier chip that they put in here. So they are caring about the sound quality as well, which is where I start to get very excited about this unit. This is an amplifier chip that you find in units that uh, supersede this cost and definitely aren't in a plate amp form. So the fact that you can find it in a plate amp is very exciting to me at least. Having said that, this is uh, just a single chip, so you're not gonna get a ton of power out of it. It's gonna be two by 40 watts at four ohm and two by 20 watts at eight ohm. So it's not gonna be as high powered as some of your other amplifiers, but it is still gonna be plenty fine enough for like a small, sitting area if you're using some four ohm speakers or even like a desktop area. I could even see this being used as something like for a sound bar, especially if you're going to be using that subwoofer out, your wattage is gonna go a lot further in that type of scenario. So I think a lot of people that might use this as a DIYer um, or someone that has some bookshelf speakers that they wanna use for the computer, um, and you can plug this right up into it. Now it's not going to be just for the computer. I can also see someone using this 
um, for a sound bar or a small boom box or something of that nature. And the reason why I say that is because if we look back on the board, there's some other options on here that you wouldn't notice when you first look at it. So if you take a look at the top left hand corner, you're going to see some JST terminals. Now these terminals are empty and that's because these allow for expansion boards and these expansion boards you can buy directly from a relic. So one of these expansion boards, for example, would be a fiber optic and digital coax board. So if you want to go digital fiber optic, digital coax, you can just buy the input board and uh, go right at it. Or maybe you want to output that. You can actually buy their output board in digital coax and fiber optic. You can also add a, an IR sensor. That would be really good if you wanted to use this for like a sound bar. You could just go ahead and run the IR sensor to the front and get their remote control and you can use uh, this with a remote control to change the source and change the volume. That also has like a button board. So once again, like if you have a boom box or something, you want to put the buttons on top, you could add the button board to it. Really, this where this kind of really separates itself is it does allow those expansion capabilities that really other amplifiers just don't offer. And because of that, it makes it pretty exciting. And if that's all it offered, it would already be a really good buy, but it actually offers one other thing that I think is just absolutely dynamite. And I think a lot of people are gonna get use out of it. And that's, if we go back to the back with this USB input, this USB input does plug up to a computer. It is a USB DAC, but it's more than that. This also allows you to DSP this amplifier. Now, when I say about DSP, you are gonna to need to buy their program. It's for a computer, it's not for a board. So if you buy it for your computer and you buy 100 Aurelic boards, you can, you know, DSP 100 Aurelic boards. It's not gonna cost you any more money for the program itself. The program's that one-time charge per computer. But this allows you to DSP this board any way you want. And that's what gets really exciting about this. So if you wanna add a little bit of bass boost to this, you can do that. If you wanna change the subwoofer out, and that's where these, uh, this like 2.1 idea of like a sound bar would be really cool. But if you did do like a sound, a sound bar or maybe a boom box and maybe you did like a 2.1, you're not gonna want to necessarily run your speaker wire back out to the other speaker. I mean, they're all gonna be in one box, right? So that just doesn't make a lot of sense. Luckily, I really kind of thought of that. If you look back on the board, down here on the bottom right, you're gonna see two JST terminals. One of those would go to like the bookshelf that this would connect to. If you're doing something like a boom box and you want both of them out, you actually remove this other JST terminal and uh, either buy and stick a new one in there or just cut those red and black wires and solder some on because those ones go to the binding posts on the back. So it would be really quick and easy to hook up two speakers in the same cabinet if you wanted to do that. I really appreciate that. You could obviously disassemble this whole thing and, and take them off, but there's really just no reason to do that. And this is where I, I really like this unit. It's not just so much that they care about the sound quality with the Infineon chip. It's not so much that they offer every type of hookup that I could possibly want, as well as DSP, but it's also the way that they laid this out. They laid it out so that really anyone can use it, and really it's gonna be adaptable to whatever you want. Now you can start to see why this is becoming my favorite plate amplifier. Now having said that, the only thing that's really holding it back is of course the wattage. So if you needed something a little bit higher wattage, maybe this isn't for you. But with the DSP and stuff, I think you would be surprised at, you know, how much sound quality you can get out of this for what this costs. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to that button and ring that bell so you'll get instant notification. I'd really appreciate that. All right guys, this is Toyd's DIY Audio and I'm out.